Thank you, Oscar Radio for India Sierra, copy Fox 6 Kilo Romeo Kilo, portable station for Army's contact, over. Radio 4 India Sierra, this is uh, Florida 6 Kilo Romeo Kilo Portable Station. Hi, Delian. Hello to everybody and uh, Happy New Year for 2012 about the space station. You are getting a noise at this time, but it's okay. My name is Frank. How do you copy? Over. I copy you loud and clear. This is, uh, this is Dan, Dan Burbank, and uh, the signal here is strong. Roger, Daniel, many thanks for this special event. We have a crowd of about 300 people listening to you. Students, of course, but also teachers and VIPs. We have TV and radio broadcast station reporting the event. And for the first time, for the first uh, one in France, we have an astronaut with us. Leopold Eas from STS-122 mission is behind me. How do you copy, over? Roger, Roger. Our guest operator is Geoffrey, a student from Descartes High School who just got his ham radio license for this contact. He's going to speak on behalf of all students. Are you ready for the first question, Dan? Over. Absolutely, I am ready. Hello, Geoffrey speaking. Uh, question, question number one by Valentin. How did you feel during your first day in space? Over. was becoming an astronaut a child dream. Did someone inspire you like a world model or differences between astronauts of Earth. Of the ISS with telescope, 
have you also got the kind of equipment and do you have time to observe the stars over? In my opinion, uh, we don't have enough time to observe the stars on board Space Station. Uh, our days are very busy. At the end of the day, it's when we'll have a chance to do that. We have wonderful cameras with wonderful long lenses on the order of 1,600 millimeters. And uh, we can also, we have cameras allow us to take uh, relatively fast exposures, uh, even at deep space. So we've taken pictures of comets, of stars, all kinds of other things. Myself, I'm an amateur astronomer. I have telescopes uh, that I use a lot on planet Earth. Uh, I've never actually imaged the space station. I've not tried to do that. But uh, I've done, uh, I've imaged stars and, uh, and galaxies and nebula before. Over. Thanks. Question number six by Camille. Have you already experienced to, uh, extravehicular activity over? Camille, yes, I have. And, uh, and this was a couple of years ago on SDS 115. Uh, we did one, I did one of the spacewalks to help uh, build the International Space Station uh, electrical power system to put uh, some of the large solar arrays that we have on the U.S. segment of space station. And uh, as much fun as space flight is relative to, uh, to life on Earth, a space walk is that much more fun than, uh, than, uh, than even working aboard the space station. To see the Earth independent of anything around you, to see the Earth through a very thin polycarbonate lens of the uh, of the, uh, the space advisors is just a breathtaking, spectacular forward. Question number seven by Ines. Does your water recovery system filter all the water water and is it really efficient over? Question number eight by Valentin. Have you already got the first results of the Alpha Magnet Magnetic Spectrometer experiment? Over. And uh, if we have not yet got, that I know of, preliminary results from the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer. It has already discovered and captured um, uh, millions, I believe, at this point, of, uh, of both matter and antimatter particles. So that data is still being analyzed on the ground, and it will be. This is a long-term experiment to actually find the things, uh, the information out that we want about dark matter and dark energy is going to take a lot of time and a lot of computational work over it. Thanks. Question number nine by Marie. What has been the most exciting experiment for you so far? Over. I think one of the most exciting experiments uh, that has uh, a tremendous amount of potential for life on Earth is the experiment that we're doing in a combustion integrated rack. This rack allows us to spend, to spend small droplets of various different fuels in all different kinds of environments and very precisely study uh, in a controlled fashion, absent gravity, absent uh, the gravity induced convection, exactly how the fuel is combusted. And uh, through doing that, we can improve the fuel efficiency of cars on Earth and electrical power generation plants. We can also improve flight safety for uh, a space environment designed better fuel systems and better fire suppression systems for spacecraft and future spacecraft over. Roger, many thanks. Uh, then this is front back. Only one minute left. This is a great day for all of us. It concludes. Uh, it concludes more than a year of close collaboration between school and our radio club. We are quite happy to have uh, made it. Before ending, on for some seconds, I close the microphone. The microphone for to Leopold Yards. Over.
Uh, thanks a lot for your work in space and all the dreams you used. Now we would like in space they get all the best to the crew. Oscar Radio for India Sierra Sierra that was Florida 6 Kilo Romeo Kilo Portable Station together with the Descartes High School of Montigny Le Breton. Merci, à bientôt Dan. Over. Okay, so we're just reasonable, bye. -bye. Well